Right, I'm back again with another build video. So today, you've probably seen this extra terror behind me. We are revamping Gumbo's terrarium to be a bit more suitable for his needs. Um, so just just going to do a paludarium really with some water filter feature. Try and make a waterfall if I can get the bits and bobs I can, but. You know, we can't promise anything. At the moment, I'm on a tight budget, but I think I've got the stuff here that I can to make it work. So without further ado, let's start this vlog slash build video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. So, here is Prince Charming himself. Uh, yeah, it's quite. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to give him a little upgrade. Obviously, that's what he was in before. I just moved him out here temporarily, you know, so you can just chill and all that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're going to give him a little build. Big water area so you can actually dunk and swim. On a bowl. And yeah, why do you look so grumpy, mister? So this is what I got. It is a 60 by 30, I believe, 60, so if, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know the actual size. I'll get the measurements and stick them up here somewhere. So yeah, this is what we got for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all the soil um, and then we're gonna put a piece of glass along here. And yeah, we're gonna still look on it in, let it dry overnight. And yeah, we're gonna fill this up with some nice cocoa fiber bedding, filter at the back, running water back into the water feature, make it easy accessible for him to get in and out. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this build. I'm gonna do a bit of a time lapse now, I'll be cleaning and getting ready, prepping everything out. So yeah, I enjoy the time lapse. Yeah, excuse the, the absolute mess around here as well. Just in the middle of cleaning around my room. To make a space for this bad boy. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this clean little cleaned up. And start the process of building this thing. clean and yeah we're dry so we're gonna start off by putting this piece of six mil glass at the measurements are 43 centimeters long by seven centimeters thick so yeah I'm just gonna stick it in and I'll show you the results after Right, so it's now been siliconed on both sides. It looks messy, I know, but 
I'd rather be safe than sorry. I've overdid it on the silicone, so I'm gonna let this dry for overnight and come back and check on it in the morning. I have added this filter, so this will be the, the filtration system for this water area. And yeah, so if the water everything is topping up, I'll just top it up. No biggie. I'm gonna put like some um, pebbles or some cork at the back so you can sit on it and get under that fountain if he wants to. And also so you can get back onto the land area. And I'm gonna put some gravel on the bottom and then cooking fiber and a nice light on the top so you can might even go for luminize not entirely sure yet we'll see how it goes so yeah check back with me on day two of the build and yeah peace out so what i did is like i mentioned earlier so i've put a piece of floating on the edge of the land area so what i'm going to eventually do is this will be like covered up with pebbles cover that thing don't know how I'm going to do it, but we'll have to go at it. Um, but yeah, so the gravel in the bottom, a nice deep-ish water area so you can use, so you can get a drink. And I've put I've I've silicone it into place and put some dry cocoa fiber on top of it just to hide the silicon, make it look a bit more appealing to the eye. But yeah, that is day one completed and we shall be back tomorrow for day two of the build. Right, so it's day two of the build. Um, so after an overnight, so left it overnight, and the tissue is completely dry, so that means this is watertight, and there's no water on the floor around it. Okay, well, this is um, so, yeah, what I'm gonna is I'm gonna. I'm also gonna get a new filter because I think it was packed in. That uh, pump is packed in. So, we'll get a new pump. Um, and yeah, we'll start doing the land area, get all the soil sorted. And yeah, we're back in the mode. Right, so I decided to add the gravel. So I put some gravel on the bottom. So it's not just slippery for the old boy. And so you just, you just grip, it's pretty much it, really. Um, like I said, it's dirty at the moment, but when I put the new filter when it comes tomorrow, I should make light work of this. And yeah, so that's the water area sort of finished. Um, so yeah, if you think I should do more build videos like this, leave a comment in the, on the video and tell me what you think we should do next. So my choice of substrate for this one will be one brick of cocoa fiber and half a kilo of sphagnum moss. I'll give it a quick mix together and then we'll start putting it in. The sphagnum moss adds humidity to the soil, but yeah, let's just mix it up and get it in. So this is kind of what we're going with here. So that is the like the land water, the, sorry, the water area. Um, and yeah, and then over here we have the land area. So again, so this deep, beautiful COVID fiber sphagnum mix. No way for the community to come up with it already, which is great. Um, like I said, I need to let the filter cycle for a day or so before I put them in here, before he destroys it. Um, there he is, if anyone wants to see him. You looking forward to going on your own, buddy? Well, I hope so. Why oh, you always look so angry? 
good old fashioned Mexican standoff. And while we're here, we'll give you a wormy. A worm? You're such a good boy. You want another one? So yeah, that's day two done of the build. Um, I'm having to wait for final bits and bobs to turn up, such as the new pump, because that one's packed in, like I said earlier. I'm waiting for some like more decor, things to make it pop. I might put some little guppies in now, I'm not entirely sure. You'll probably eat them. I think that's too small for water area for guppies anyway. So, yeah, wait for the bits and bobs to arrive. Um, and yeah, let's see. I'm going to put a light on there and see what it looks like with a light on. And we have light. Look at it. So much better. It looks sick already. Yeah, I honestly can't wait to get this finished. It's about time Gumbo got an upgrade. Yeah. You looking forward to it? There he is. Yeah, I think I did a really good job with that water area. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be fair. No, obviously, I did have done a better job with the silicon, but it's better to be safe than sorry. But yeah, I think I've um, really outdone myself on this one. Really chuffed, really, really chuffed. Well, I'll see you back on day three of the build video to get everything finished and be putting him in to his new home. <sighs> so, turns out the guy in the fish shop lied and said that the filter would be fine halfway up in the water. So, the filter is not a go for now, but I just ordered another one, which is a lot smaller. So it'll be able to be submerged more. So what happens when people don't know their stuff, in it? So yeah, uh, we're gonna get the light on, put the, put the stones in, and until the thing, we'll do water changes if needed, but for now, it should be fine. So yeah, let's get everything else in, and then we'll just put gumbo in. So, this is what we got. This is a on the thing it is. So it's 11,000 lux um, and 1,800 lumens and 7,800 kelvins. If anyone wanted to know. So, but yeah, let's see, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. Yeah, so apologies for the audio uh, video quality because my phone died, but here is the light. Look at that. That is superb. So, yeah, let's get the plants in, give it a tidy up. And let's get the big boy in here. I'm sure he's excited. 
So yeah, that's the build finished. Uh, I'll show you some cinematic shots in a second. Um, just thought I'd uh, see all nice and clean, ready for to go in. And yeah, so let's put him in and uh, see if he likes it. I hope he likes it. But yeah. So also added with the LED, which is extremely bright. Um, I've added a 7% UVB shade oiler, so you can get extra UVs. Wolf, every animal needs UV in captivity, even frogs. So all my frogs will be getting UVB as they get upgraded. So yeah, so oh, he's going to put in the bed now. Look at him. that they let them stand in for a few days get that filter fit as soon as possible when it turns up but for now it's fine so he's happy he's now burrowed in his soil so yeah if you did enjoy this video please consider giving it a like comment and subscribing to the channel patrons you're that way thank you for um supporting me a little bit more and if you do want to join the patreon you know you can join us for a little pound a month so not that much really you know it's not even a same as a box of bugs but yeah so if you do want to join the patreon i'll leave the link in the description my name is ken and this has been my african bullfrog build thank you for watching